हॅलो दिस इज सानवी महेश मडगावकर स्टडिंग इन स्टँडर्ड सिक्स फ्रॉम सेंट जोझफ इन्स्टिट्यूट वास्को टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू शो हाऊ टू फील कलर इन द इंडियन नॅशनल फ्लॅग सो फॉर दॅट वी नीड द पॅन एक्सटेन्शन अँड टू गेट द पॅन एक्सटेन्शन वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन द एक्सटेन्शन ऑप्शन विच इज देर एट द लेफ्ट बॉटम कॉर्नर ऑफ द स्क्रीन सो आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑन इट यर देर आर मेनी एक्सटेन्शन सो आय नीड द पॅन एक्सटेन्शन सो आय एम क्लिकिंग ऑन इट अँड आय गॉट इट ऑन द ब्लॉक पॅन इट नाव आय सिलेक्ट अ ब्लॉक फ्रॉम इवेंट्स विच इज वेन ग्रीन फ्लॅक क्लिक ब्लॉक so uh, it uh, it means that once i click the green flag my project should start next block is erase all block which means that the previous inks which are there on the stage may erase once i click on the green flag so next is pen up block and now i want to set to a location so i will take go to x and y block from the motion and the value of x will be minus 150 and the value of y will be 80 so minus 150 is for x is and for y is 80 now another block from motion which is pointing direction 90 i added it to the script area so it will the, uh, point to the direction 90 next is set pen color to block now i want to set my pen to saffron color because the first color on the indian national flag is saffron so here i'm selecting the saffron color and here i got it next is i'm taking the block set pen size to so this no the color will be little dark the saffron color little dark yeah next is set pen size to 5 so 5 value next is pen down now i want to start drawing so as we see the indian national flag we get to know that there are three rectangles so rectangle is an important shape to code the indian national flag and for that we need to make a block because we will be using many rectangles to uh, create this project so we need to create one only block so we have to go to my blocks and make a block i am adding the name as i am naming this block as rectangle so rectangle and i'm adding an input as length and one more input which is breadth so breadth and i'm clicking on okay now i'm going to motions i'm going to motions and i'm choosing the block move steps and adding the length input and turn 90 degrees right angle so turn 90 degrees so move steps bread then turn turn 90 degree so this i am duplicating it so why i am duplicating because rectangle has four sides two length two breadth so here also two length two breadth so i'm placing it near the main code so the one more block we need to make now which is filled rectangle so this will be filled rectangle block so again i'm going to my blocks and make a block so here i'm typing the name has filled rectangle filled rectangle so i'm clicking on okay and filled rectangle i'm using if then else from control if then else block and i'm using an operator which is equal to means if now we need here 
two inputs for filled rectangle means if length is equal to zero then else so i need to edit it and add an input as length same as the rectangle block then is bread only the thing is here that it will be a filled rectangle so your if length if length is is equal to zero else what will happen sorry zero zero then what will happen is rectangle under else length and breadth then fill the rectangle so now minus 1 length minus 1 means it will go decreasing 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 so i am doing minus 1 Minus one, so breadth is usual, and this is the filled rectangle block. So now let us see how does it work. And for that we need to connect it to the main code. So filled rectangle, and I want length to be three hundred, and breadth to be ninety. So three hundred ninety. Okay, not three hundred, three fifty. I want it to be three fifty length. And let us run the project. And this is the result. So here it's filling the rectangle. So now it's a long process. Means, uh, it's going slow, 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 slow to complete. So I'll edit the filled rectangle block, and I'll tick the run without screen refresh option. So now see it is, it is done. So I think so we need to adjust the position. I need to take y the first to the main code y. Y has one ten, one ten. So it will be up, more up, yeah more up. So one one thirty, one thirty. So is it? Yeah perfect. So little minus one sixty. Minus one sixty. So your minus okay minus one seventy. So it is adjust. Yeah. Now we need to take ten up and ten down. So before that, before we go to next rectangle, let's uh, do some effect for this only. So now. This will be light color, okay. So now will be dark color. So this is little light, light. And now I'm using the dark pen up and pen down. Then set pen color to little dark orange, little dark orange. So. Your little dark orange, and now I'm doing this filled rectangle as three hundred and ninety. So now it will be something like this. Yeah, but uh, it is like uh, no, the color is wrong. Light color should be for next, and dark should be first. So this is correct, and now it looks good. And little more dark, this light should be. Yeah. So this is rectangle, light and dark. It looks good. So next, so let us take pen up and pen down, and let us go down for white rectangle. So I have to take and block from motion, and uh, change y by minus ninety because the breadth of our rectangle is minus ninety. So I am also taking minus ninety only here. And what I am doing is I am placing middle pen up and pen down, and I am setting size to white. Sorry, not so size. I'm setting pen to white, pen color to white. Now, okay, 
done so here also a rectangle a filled rectangle and this will be gray little little gray and this will be length will be 350 and breadth will be 90 same as the saffron one also same it is so next uh, again pen up and pen down and now is pure white not little gray color will be pure white so here the filled rectangle will be length will be each 300 and 90 will be the breadth okay because nothing is changed to the breadth only length is shaking so yeah now let us run the project yes this is done so now because the background is also white that's why also it is looking white but it is nice so uh, let us see if any suitable background is there for it so i i want to click on background and choose a background so i'm choosing the patterns in here in patterns uh, all are white also in this okay rays yeah rays are good but space okay space will be nice the space tree so i'm choosing the space tree backdrop so backdrop is space tree so now the white color is looking and again we'll go down now so pen up and pen down so change y by minus 90 again because our bread is 90 and we need to go down now for the green green part minus 90 and now green will be little dark no now green will be little dark so set pen color to block i have choose and little dark little more yeah so here i am duplicating the filled rectangle value because it is the same all the rectangles are same in value so again i am taking the pen up pen down and filled rectangle 300 length and breadth so here i am duplicating the white one only Then I am taking this to light green, light green, yeah, and this I am placing it under this, and here now let us run the project, so yeah, yeah, it is uh, looking good now, and one thing is missing, which is the Ashoka Chakra, so Ashoka Chakra, I am taking a image, I am taking a separate sprite for it. So this is Ashoka Chakra's PNG which I have took a screenshot from Google and then uh, converted it to PNG in my gallery and then I have selected choose a sprite from gallery that uh, option and then I got this Ashoka Chakra sprite. Now let us reduce its size. So I'm going to parameters. Uh, first, I click to, uh, on that uh, sprite Ashoka Chakra. I'm renaming the sprite Ashoka Ashoka Chakra Ashoka Chakra, and I'm setting its size to 30. 30, yeah, 30 is perfect. So now, what I'm doing is. I am uh, that we have tick marked you know the field rectangle uh, let us go to my box and edit the field rectangle that I am not tick marking because I want that like to be so this I want to shake yeah so what happens this Ashoka Chakra is first to be so what I am uh, going to Ashoka Chakra uh, sprite and 
first I'll go to backdrops So here I'm going when green flag click that time hide when green flag click that time hide is hide hide is in looks hide and then I'm going to events again and when backdrop switch uh, switches to space tree that time show and that also position will be go to x 4 and y minus 2 so now i'll go to toby and i'll say that when uh, it will begin that time it should be space 2 and when it will end that time it should be space 3 backdrop so now let us run the project and check 